Hey guys, this is Nick with Fami, and we are reviewing the new Motorola Touch Plus i475, which runs on the Boost mobile network. A quick rundown of the specs. The Motorola Touch comes with a 2-inch TFT display, Bluetooth compatibility, full QWERTY keyboard, GPS and web browsing enabled. It also comes equipped with a 0.3 megapixel VGA camera and has a 1130mAh battery, which gives you about 5 hours of talk time and 100 hours of standby. It doesn't have Wi-Fi though, so you'll have to use data directly through your carrier to view web pages or receive emails. Here we have the Motorola Touch. I've already opened up the box which includes the manual along with the quick start guide and your SIM card along with other terms and conditions from Boost Mobile. It also includes the wall charger, micro USB, along with the device itself. Um, you can open up the Motorola Touch by just sliding it out here we have the battery along with the SIM card. Here we have the VGA camera with no flash, 2.5 millimeter headphone jack, not the 3.5 like other devices. Here are the volume controls along with the walkie talkie button. Here are your basic navigational buttons along with the OK, answer, end, and your men menu button right here. Over here we have the micro USB port. And that's pretty much it. The walkie-talkie functions on the clutch are simple to use and it doesn't take too long to figure out. The VGA camera is also 0.3 megapixels, not even a full megapixel, so you won't get too many great images from it, but at least this phone does have one. It also has 4x digital zoom, but with such a low resolution, I don't see how it could be used too well. The entire QWERTY keyboard and navigation buttons are made of plastic, but the navigational buttons feel fine, and they are also large enough to prevent missed clicks or answer your call easily. Texting is also fast and easy with a full QWERTY layout, and most people should be able to learn how to navigate on this device fairly quickly. The interface on the Touch is pretty straightforward, but loading up Java-powered apps can take a while, even the calculator. Everything from games to wallpapers and ringtones can be downloaded, but there won't be too much of a selection in that category since most of the content is already preloaded. It has a speakerphone with voice dialing and a 600 entry phone book, which should be plenty of room for most people out there. The Clutch also has a 2.5, not the universal 3.5 millimeter headphone jack you see in other devices. So you have to make sure your headphones are compatible with it if you want to listen to media. The Motorola Clutch is incredibly small and light, while the entire back is covered in the rubberized material, which feels great to hold and use. The sides, on the other hand, are covered in a glossy black plastic, but it doesn't change the overall feel of the Clutch. As a feature phone, the Motorola Touch Plus i475 performs many of its functions fairly well, from talk to push to talk to texting, internet, and even email. If you're someone who's not accustomed to the offerings of the more powerful platforms, then the Motorola Touch should provide plenty of the basic features the average person would need. Most of the phone is made of solid materials, including the screen and the rubberized body, but it will have some plastic parts, which feel a bit flimsy, but still work great. The screen is a bit small compared to other phones, so that may be an issue if you have trouble reading small text or need a larger screen for media or internet. The Clutch also doesn't have the ability to expand on its 8 megabytes of internal memory, so you may run into issues in the future concerning storage. Despite a few flaws, the Motorola Clutch still performs very well and should have no problem feeling the need of anyone looking for a great feature phone. Thanks for watching my review. Be sure to visit Fondo.com for the latest accessories for your device.